YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of Arm Change Series 08 Zangetsu Shin from Kamen Rider Gaim. The first of the energy riders to be released. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Just a fun fact. He's the first energy riders to be released. I mean, that's just a fact that's fun. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Let's go ahead and start. I'm um, taking a quick look at the box. Um, nothing too spectacular. Uh, pretty much what we've come to expect. You got a picture of him here. Here's where the figure was. Here's a cool action shot. Uh, what's cool is you got the little bit of a soda bubble effects that you have like with the Genesis driver box, which is a nice touch. Um, and then on the top here, you got, you know, showing how the figure works. Um, right here, there's a cool stock photo of Shin Zangetsu's helmet, or Zangetsu Shin. I always mess up the order when I'm talking about him multiple times. But anyway, I'll again show you some poses. Warning, not real lasers. And then just shows you, you know, what he comes with, other things in the line. Uh, so pretty much uh, the basic fare that we have come to expect. Um, obviously, he comes with himself and his arms and a Sonic Arrow. I'm going to go ahead and go over the Sonic Arrow first because I feel like it. Um, honestly, the Sonic Arrow is pretty well done. Uh, the Sonic Arrow doesn't have... Take a shot every time I say Sonic Arrow. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, it's not really that overly detailed of a weapon, so it's pretty hard to screw up. So the fact that they just had to lay down red and blue plastic, uh, they pretty much nailed the look of it. So obviously, you know, when you get something like the figure out version, it will look better. But this honestly isn't that terrible at all. Uh, what's really nice about it here is you can see this little gray plastic piece that actually pulls back. Um, and you can actually customize how far it pulls back. It's not really that useful, I suppose. But, I mean, in terms of... It's useful to be able to pose it like this in shooting mode or stasis mode, but I mean, the degree, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, the bottom line is, it's really cool that you're actually able to do this. Uh, they could easily just set it up as a solid mold like this or like this or something and not have it movable, but the fact that it's movable is really neat. Um, here is his melon energy arms here. It is just slightly different looking than the regular melon arms. Um, I know you can put the helmet in there. You're supposed to be able to put it in there. And uh, mine can. It just falls out every time. So like every time I go to... Um, you know, drop the arms on him, the helmet will fall out, and then I have to undo the arms anyway. So, that's why I'm not doing it that way. Um, here's the figure. Um, he pr is pretty much the same as regular Zangetsu. He's just got some slight differences. Uh, like the black paint here. Obviously, the driver and the he helmet sculpt is different. Um, but other than that, it's relatively unchanged. And the base sculpt is the same in terms of articulation. Uh, you got a pretty nice articulated figure here. A 360 here, in and out on a nice hinge joint. Swiveling right here at the arm. Arm. You got a single elbow joint. You got these nifty little articulated figures that you can fold into two sections like that. Um, nice hinge joint here. You can get a pretty solid range of movement forward, um, backwards to the side. You can swivel here at the leg as well. Single knee joint. You have a nice little ball joint on his foot. Uh, you can swivel at his waist, and his head's on a nice ball joint, so you can get smaller arm movement. Mine's really sticky, so it's really annoying. But uh, very well articulated. I always describe these figures as a cross between figure arts and like. Uh, Power Rangers 5-inch figure, so they're like right between there. So pretty well articulated. Um, the details on them here are nothing spectacular. The Genesis driver is primarily red, and then you have the orange color of the energy lock seat, and then the little soda part down here to match what Melon looks like when it opens up. And then you got the different head sculpt here, but nothing too spectacular. So let's go ahead and put the arms on. We have to slide it through. Make sure you actually have to slide it through right here where these little horn things open up, otherwise it won't go on. Oh my god, that falls off every time. Uh, on, I don't know if that'll happen on yours, but on this one, the hinge on this is really loose. Like, I'll think about thinking about it, and it'll un come undone. So anyway, once that's not falling out, slide it down, that'll become the chest piece. This piece here will be the back. And this is just, I don't know, I think it's really an engineering thing, is you have these two on each side, and, you know, normally you'd assume they'd come down to be two shoulders, but they sort of fold together like this to become the one shoulder, uh, which is really cool. I really like the design of that. I feel like, there we go, that's good enough. That's good enough. Um, and then put his little helmet on, which normally would be in him if it wasn't so messed up. And there you have Zangetsu Shin, which honestly is really cool. I really do like Zangetsu's design, and I really do like Zangetsu Shin's design. Um, but I really like this figure. Um, for whatever reason, I always felt like I preferred regular Zangetsu's design in the show. But figure-wise, honestly, this guy just kind of stands out a little more than regular Zangetsu. I'm not entirely sure why, but I think they did a really good job on him. Uh, the compound effect's obviously present there with the orange in his eyes. It looks really good. All the details on him are pretty solid. Honestly, these are pretty good substitutes for figure arts, and they have a lot more playability, which is really cool. Um, and I don't know, I just think he looks really good. The translucent orange there looks good, the green color, the compound eyes, just make for a really uh, nice looking figure. He's probably one of my favorites, just look-wise, um, of the arm chain figures I have. 
Um, we're just going to do a quick side by side here. Here he is next to regular Zangetsu, right there, so you can see the two side by side. It's kind of unfortunate because Zangetsu is like always shown as like one of the main writers and like the theme and stuff. And uh, you know when it was announced, but then he hardly ever appeared, and now he's got this upgrade. So we haven't really seen regular Zangetsu for a while. I don't really expect Takator to transform back into him, but you know they could get somebody else a Sengoku driver. But yeah, they look really cool next to each other. Uh, I really prefer his design and figure form for whatever reason. Um, just for fun, I'm not going to be showing a bunch of different combinations. I haven't gotten too much of a feedback to show a lot of combinations. Um, like I said, if you want that to change, just comment in the video, and I will make sure in the future to show more combinations. And I do plan on maybe doing a video that's just sort of a montage of all the combinations at the end of the series. But anyway, that was long-winded. I'm just going to do. A quick fun combination of switching these two around. They're pretty similar, but I just thought it would be a, a neat way to just show the figure's functionality. Um, there's really not much of a variation, but it's just fun to do anyway. So let's go ahead and do that so we can switch arms with himself. So as you can see side by side, their base is pretty much the same. They just have a different driver, different helmet, and some minor paint details. So let's put regular on here. You have to make sure it goes through the horn holes. That's what she said. And then, let's see, make sure you get the right one. And there you have Zangetsu Shin with regular Zangetsu arms, which honestly doesn't look terribly different. His eyes look a little different because they're yellow instead of orange. It makes him kind of look like a prototype, which I guess essentially regular Zangetsu is. Um, and then we'll put Zangetsu Shins on regular Zangetsu, just for the fun of it. And there you go. And he pretty much looks the same. I mean, you have the different, um, you know, horn effects here on his, but he really doesn't look all that different. He honestly looks pretty badass like this. Let's take a quick look. Here he is. Oh, he's falling out of frame. He's falling out of frame. But yeah, that's pretty neat. See the two together. Just to mess around with it, and obviously it functions with all the other ones, so you can mess around, do other combinations with other AC figures. That's part of the fun of the line. So honestly, I really... Oops, this is a little off-center. That's really weird. I honestly really like this figure. If you watch any of my reviews for these, you know I'm a huge fan of this line. I think they're very decently articulated. They look really nice on the shelf. And they're just a lot of fun to mess around with. All the different combinations with the arms, whether you're just messing with a few that are supposed to change or doing what-if combinations, it's just a lot of fun. And this figure in particular, I think Zangetsu Shin looks really, really nice on the shelf just by himself. I think it's a really nice-looking figure aesthetically and obviously adds more to your playability. So if you can track this guy down, I definitely recommend picking him up. He's really cool. I say track this guy down. In case you don't know, these are pretty hard to find recently. The arm change figures are pretty popular. But who knows, you could be watching this from the future where they're just giving them away. So I don't know what timeline you're watching this in. Um, I'm watching in timeline B, personally. But anyway, that's about it. I'm getting weird now, so it's probably time to leave. Um, until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at RidersRangeRambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, it's Dawson Ryder, signing out.